वेलकम बैक प्रॉब्लम 5.54 सो स्टेटमेंट इज ड्रॉ द शेयर एंड बेंडिंग मूवमेंट डायग्राम फॉर द बीम एंड लोडिंग शोन एंड डिटरमाइन द मैक्सिमम नॉर्मल स्ट्रेस ड्यू टू बेंडिंग सो यू कैन सी दिस इज ओवर हैंगिंग बीम दैट इज डब्ल्यू एट इंटू थर्टी वन एंड द लोडिंग इज शोन फ्राम ए टू सी वी हैव अ यूनिफॉर्मली डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड लोड ऑफ टू किप्स पर फीट एंड एट पॉइंट बी वी हैव अ पॉइंट लोड ऑफ सिक्स किप्स द टोटल लेंथ ऑफ दिस बीम इज फोर्टीन फीट सो वट यू हैव टू डू इज यू हैव टू ड्रॉ द शेयर फोर्स एंड बेंडिंग मूवमेंट डायग्राम एंड देन मैक्सिमम नॉर्मल स्ट्रेस ड्यू टू बेंडिंग सो लेट स्टार्ट विद द सोल्यूशन सो फर्स्ट स्टेप इज दैट इफ वी रिमूव दिस सपोर्ट एट पॉइंट ए सो डेफिनेटली देर विल बी अ रिएक्शन फोर्स लेट दिस फोर्स इज रिप्रेजेंटेड एज ए एंड इफ वी रिमूव दिस रोलर सपोर्ट एट पॉइंट डी सो दिस सपोर्ट सो दिस विल बी रिप्रेजेंटेड एज रिएक्शन फोर्स D so we will find this A and D by using equation of equilibrium equation of equilibrium so first equation of equilibrium is that sum of all moment about point D is equal to 0 taking the counter clockwise moment as positive so about point D we have one moment D which is A into total distance will be 12 feet and that will be clockwise so it will be negative the second moment will be uh, when this uniformly distribute load will be converted into point load which is 2 into 6 and perpendicular distance will be this one which is 9 because this distance is 3 plus 6 which is equal to 9 feet and this will producing counter clockwise so it will be plus the third moment about point d is due to this 6 and perpendicular distance is this 2 feet and this will be clockwise so it will be negative so i will write first a into mine a into 12 and that will be clockwise and this point load when converted into concentrated load so it will be 2 into 6 which is equal to 12 and that will be acting at 3 feet from this edge so this total distance will be Nine, clear. So I will write uh, nine is the perpendicular distance and two into six, which is equal to twelve. So twelve into nine, and that will be plus because it producing counterclockwise movement. Okay. So and that this third one, which is six into two, is equal to zero. So again, when you solve this, you will get A will be equal to eight kips. Okay. So now you have this eight kips. So you can find this D by using equilibrium condition that sum of all forces along y direction must be equal to zero and taking the force upward as positive. So you have eight, which is A minus this twelve minus twelve plus D. Minus six is equal to zero. So eight minus eighteen plus D is equal to zero. So from here you will get D is equal to ten kips. Okay. So you have this D as ten kips. So we will now move toward finding the shear force and bending moment diagram. So for that I will draw. Vertical lines from the end of this beam, clear. So you can see this is the vertical lines from the end of this beam, and here you have x in feet. Okay, and here we have shear force in kips. Now at uh, point A, at A we have V A. Clear and that V A is equal to A and that is eight kips. Clear and at point C, now you can see that this moving from A to C we have a uniformly distributed load. So this uniformly distributed load will be equal to two into six, which is twelve. So shear force at C will be equal to A minus. Uh, Six into two, which is twelve. 
so I will write V at C at C we have VC which is equal to VA minus 6 into 2 so VA is 8 minus 12 is equal to minus 4 okay now moving from C to D there is no other shear force so it will remain same minus 4 so from C to D C to D we have this V is equal to minus 4 K and from D to B D to B you can see now at D we have <coughs> shear force will be equal to minus 4 K plus D which is 10 D is 10 so minus 4 plus 10 will be equal to 6 skips and at end you can see from D we have minus 6 so it will be 0 so let's move and plot it so if I take uh, one division is equal to 2 there so this will be 8 sorry 4 6 and 8 similarly this will be minus 2 minus 4 minus 6 and so on at point a we have uh, 8 kips so your first point will be this one okay now at point c we have shear forces minus 4 kips and c point will be this one so minus 4 will be this point so you can just join them as you know that this load is horizontal so shear force will be one degree higher and the slope will be decreasing because this is downward so we can easily join these two points using a straight line so this is minus four now from c to d it is same so this will remain horizontal and at point t we have six skips the shear force change from this to six skips so six will be this point so the shear force diagram will like this this is plus six and moving from d to b it will be remain same and at point b you have minus six which will bring it to zero so this is your shear shear force diagram now we will move uh, to the bending moment diagram for that we have to locate if you have drawn it per, as per scale so you can measure this distance if you do not have so what we will you will do is that uh, uh, we will change the color okay so if you want to check this point where shear force is equal to zero let this is point e clear so at point E, this is point E and distance from this to this is, let this is small E. And this point is your point C that is given over here. And the remaining this distance, this remaining distance, this will be equal to, this distance will be equal to 6 minus E. You can see the total distance is 6 and this distance is if I draw it dot it so this is E so this distance will be equal to 6 minus E now what we will do is that uh, locate point E where shear force is equal to 0 locate E where v is equal to zero i will tell you why we want to find this location so if you locate if you see that we have two similar triangle one is this one another one is this one so if i take the ratio of e divided by this distance eight this will be equal to six minus e divided by this vertical distance which is minus four so I will write E divided by 8 is equal to 6 minus E divided by 4. 
the distance for our force is 4 so from here when you solve this you will get e is equal to 4 feet 4 feet so it means that at a distance of e is equal to 4 feet you have shear force is equal to 0 now we will move toward bending moment diagram so for bending moment diagram you know that area under the shear force diagram is bending moment clear this one is also this one is the area and this one the is the area so first i will write from e to e from a to e you can see this will be a uh, we represent movement is equal to v into dx so this movement will be equal to v into dx and that will be equal to area under this triangle so this triangle having height is 8 and this is 4 that we have find it over here that's why we find the location where shear force is equal to 0 and this area is equal to 1 over 2 8 into 4 so i will write it 1 over 2 8 into that is equal to 16 kips into feet this is 16 this area is 16 now the second area from e to c this area and this area you can see this 6 minus e is 2 and this is 4 minus 4 so its area will be 1 over 2 into minus 4 into Two, which is equal to minus 4 kips into feet so i will write from e to c e to c we have this movement which is v into dx is equal to 1 over 2 into 2 into minus 4 and that will be equal to minus 4 kips into feet so the this area is minus 4 okay if you draw this now the third area is this this area and this area you can see this area is mm, minus 4 multiply by this total distance is 6 this is 6 from this till this point it is 6 feet okay so from C to D C to D this point is D from c to d this integral of v into dx is equal to uh, minus 4 into 6 which is minus 24 kips into feet so this area is minus 24 kips into feet also from d to b d to b b is the last point this is the b you can see this is the area and this area is 6 multiplied by 2 feet because this length is 2 feet you can check it over here so we will write integral of v into dx is equal to 6 into 2 which is equal to 12 kips into feet now you can plot it uh, on this shear for in this movement diagram so if i draw horizontal line and the x will be in feet and we have movement that is in kips into feet so at point a we have zero movement so this point will be it also you can check that area under this shear force will give you movement this is plus 16 so we will look at plus 16 okay so let each division is of 4 this is 8 this is 12 and this is 16 similarly minus 4 minus 8 minus 12 and so on okay so this is your point e this is your point c this is your point d this is b this is your point d this is your point c e okay so first movement uh, sorry from a to e 
we have 16 so 16 will be this one okay now you can see that shear force is a horizontal line so bending moment will be one degree higher and the air slope is decreasing so it will be clockwise so it will be like this one okay now at uh, what at we have uh, um, at point c we have from e to c we have minus four so this is 12 minus four will be give you 8 uh, sorry this is 16 12 minus uh, 16 minus 4 is 12 so you will have this point at point c so shear force will change it to bending moment will change to this okay now this is 12 now we have a moment this area is from e to d is minus 24 so 12 minus 24 will give you minus 12 so movement will change to minus 12 at this point d and again this will be a straight line now why because you can see that this shear force is a horizontal line with zero degree so bending moment will be one degree higher and slope will be decreasing because this area is negative and the last one from d to b is plus 12 so this is minus 12 and plus 12 will bring it to zero so we will get the moment will be like this now you can see that uh, we can also write uh, it uh, okay so this is the uh, this is your shear force and this is your bending moment diagram in our second part we have been asked to find the normal stress so normal stress we know that is maximum absolute maximum bending moment divided by section modulus and it is also given that w8 into 31 rolled steel so maximum bending moment from this bending moment diagrams come comes out to be 16 kips into feet 16 kips into feet and section modulus can be taken ta can be taken from uh, property of steel section and i will write it 27.5 inch power 3 i will show you if you go to the end of this book and uh, in property of steel section appendix c property of steel roll so you can see w8 by 31 so you have to scroll down w8 by 31 so you have to locate this is w8 by 31 you have to check it okay now you can see here w8 section i will show you this is w8 so w8 by 31 is this one and if you move this is its sx which is 27.5 that is section modulus into 10 to the power minus 3 okay so now you can put it over here you can find normal stress is equal to maximum bending moment which is equal to 16 kips so 16 into 12 will convert it into kips into inch divided by 27.5 so this normal stress is equal to 192 divided by 27.5 and that will be equal to 6.98 ksi so this is the answer of our second part to find the normal stress in this beam i hope you have enjoyed this video and you have learned a lot from it those who are new to my channel then subscribe it and press the bell icon so that you can get notification about the latest videos if you have any question you can ask me in comment section thank you for watching